Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to add YouTube and Vimeo videos to your File Away flight box tables or lists. We're going to do a table, same deal for lists. So we're going to set up our table. We come over here, we see that I've got a base directory of files right there. Okay, directory files is where we want to go for our short code, sortable data table. We don't need to select the base directory because it's going to default to the first one. Uh, we don't need to enable make directory because the directory already exists. If it didn't exist, we could enable this and it would create it for us. We can enable it even though it does exist and it won't do anything because it doesn't need to. Okay, um, we're going to add a search label of search me. We're going to add a file name label of titles. We're going to disable date modified. We're going to add some custom columns. Um, description and length. We're going to fade this in. Um, this CSS sometimes takes a couple of seconds to load. And so when we f start the table out, um, invisible and then fade it in, by the time it fades in the CSS is already loaded and it looks nice and crisp straight away. So we're good to go there. We're going to, and we can enable manager mode or directory tree nav or we don't have to enable either but I'm going to enable directory tree nav. I'm going to give it a drawer ID of 1 and this drawer ID is a new feature and what it allows you to do is have multiple manager mode and or directory tree nav pages uh, tables on the same page as long as you give them each a unique number for their drawer ID. Okay? And then it'll show up in the URL as drawer1 equals drawer2 equals. And so that way they don't interfere with one another. Okay. Uh, that's all good. Now we're going to enable the flight box, multimedia. Okay, we're going to give it a box name of Yang. And everything else is fine as the defaults. Um, we're going to give our table a silver bullet theme and that's it that's all we need for that I've already got some files in there so we don't need to add an upload form just right now I'll show you some more about uploads in another video but to start with what we're going to have here is just a couple of images a uh, mp4 video that's on my server and a PDF the standard flight box scenario here. So we've got uh, Edward James Olmos and my wife. That's also my wife. Here's our little video of the piano. I got that from the internet somewhere. It's a big internet. Um, and here's a PDF. You can expand and contract it. So widescreen or tall basically like that you can go back and forth however you want to go it starts in widescreen mode okay and uh, wow all right um, so there you have it and now what we want to do is we want to add some YouTube and Vimeo videos. Well, how do we do that? Well, we do that by using uh, followaway URL parser.csv. So there's a couple of ways we can get that up there. One, we can go over here to our tutorials tab and we can go to the dynamic hyperlinks tutorial and we can download the example followaway parser CSV and we could open it up and we could edit it and make the links how we want and then we could upload it to the server and then we want to make a change we could download it and re-upload it so on and so forth we could do it that way or we could do this CSV data table we'll leave it the same base directory because we want it to go in there we don't need to specify a file name um, if you specify a file name, it'll it'll only show that one CSV file. If you don't, it'll give you a drop down of all available CSV files <clears throat> in the directory that you specify or recursively if you enable recursion here. 
if you enable a file name and then fill in uh, the make new CSV field, it'll create a new CSV for you if it doesn't already exist with that file name. And in here, you specify the the column headers. So if we created a file name, you know, file away URL parser, then over here we would say URL comma file name, and with the file name in there, when we load it, when the page loads, it would create that for us. But we're not going to do it that way. That's one way you can create a CSV. Um, you can also create the directory if it doesn't exist with this. Uh, you can choose your read encoding and your write encoding. Um, but we're going to do this quickly. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to enable editor mode. And we're just going to give it a silver bullet theme and that's all we need to do. So we don't even need to do to enable recursion because right now we're just dealing with one directory. So that's pretty much it. We didn't have to add a search label. All we needed really was editor equals true. File away values, editor equals true. I'm not actually going to save this, but that's the basic short code that we needed. Okay, now if I reload the page, Okay, so there's no CSVs in this folder, so we're going to create a new one. And we're going to call it, as is required, file away URL parser.csv. We don't have to enter in the .csv. If we leave it out, it'll create, it'll add it for us. If, it's, if we do write it, it won't add it for us. And now we need to add the column names. So they're comma separated, and for our purposes, they need to be all caps, URL, and file name. Create. And reload the page with our CSV. And now, as you can see, because there's only one CSV in there, we don't get the drop down anymore. And there's our search me. Okay, and so what we have here is an empty CSV file. It's a real file. If we click on this, we'll download it. And you'll see there we have our two column names with no data. Okay, so to add data, all you gotta do is double click in the cell. All right, and what we want to do now is we want to grab some videos from YouTube. So from YouTube, I'm going to grab the trailer for my first short, copy link address, and I'm going to double click here, and I'm going to add it in there, and I'm going to get rid of this and list stuff. We don't need that. All we need is the, the V, you know, the watch V, okay? and to when you click outside of the input field, it saves. And we're going to call this note to self trailer. And because down here in our uh, thing we have two fields, um, we're going to add some custom data. So we do that by putting it in square brackets. And so I'm going to do the description of trailer. Well, uh, me has an identity crisis. And then I'm going to do a comma, and I'm going to do 122 for the length. I'm going to put trailer back there. And we're saved. And now we need to add a new row. So we right mouse click in this area. If we right mouse click up here, up here on the headers, we get column options. Rename column, insert new column before, insert new column after, delete column, or save backup. That's a backup of the whole file. If we right mouse click on any of the table rows in the body, we get row options. Insert new row, delete row, or save backup. So we're going to insert a new row. I'm going to grab another video here. Let's grab me and Eddie Olmos. Okay. And we'll get rid of the list. And we will. Double click here, and Edward almost and Tom Stark. Uh, wishing Ted Troxel a happy birthday, like 30 seconds. Okay. 
And let's add another one. That's a couple of YouTube videos. So now let's uh, get some from Vimeo. So now we're going to grab the full short film of Note to Self. Okay, we're going to add a new row. Paste. And Note to Self. Me has an oh what what's my tagline for this movie? A narcissistic tragic romance with a happy ending. Comma thirty-four minutes. Okay. Um and let's grab another one. Let's grab the full film of Revolution. Copy link address, last one, insert new row. And revolution. Seth Ward is ready for dinner. And comma fourteen fifty nine. Good. Okay, that's saved. So if we downloaded it, you would see that it's uh, a real thing here. There's our document with all our info. info. So now when I refresh the page, or just click on the breadcrumb here, we're going to get our videos. YouTube. That's our MP4 from the server. There's our Note Self trailer from YouTube. And here is Note Self from Vimeo. And Revolution from Vimeo. Okay. So that's pretty much the sum of it. And as you can see, our custom data is appropriately showing up in our columns as expected. You've got our custom YouTube icons and Vimeo icons. Everything looks pretty. And that is how it's done. We can save a backup of this if we want to. That's done. If we reload the page, you will see the backup in the drop-down because now there's more than one file in here. And there it is, timestamped. When you have the drop down, you can download, delete, or create new. And that's all there is to it. I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you next time.